I'm Sally Thibault and in this video today I'm going to share with you my one secret tip to maintaining your weight over Christmas. You know there seems to be this common belief that we put weight on over Christmas and really that's just a belief. It doesn't have to be true for you. And so if you're ready to change that belief, what I'd like to do is share with you my top secret way of maintaining your weight over Christmas. And it's something I've been doing for many years. It's just that I've been able to turbocharge it in the last uh, couple of years or so by using tapping. But what if you believed that you were not going to gain weight over Christmas? What if you truly believed that you were just going to maintain your normal weight right over Christmas with all the parties? Because the belief that you're going to put on weight kind of manifests if you believe you're going to put on weight, that's exactly what you're going to what's going to happen. And if you believe otherwise, then that's what's going to happen as well. And the secret tip that I have, the secret strategy that I've used for many years now in, in maintaining my weight, and especially in the last year, um, where using tapping I've actually dropped another five kilos without even trying. But the way to do it is to trust your body. Your body is the most amazing amazing kind of well-oiled machine it operates and functions without us even having to think about it you know the heart keeps pumping the lungs keep breathing uh, all the organs in the body continually work without us even being aware of it it really does have a mind of its own so when it comes to maintaining your weight it's about trusting your body and also asking your body what it needs you know every morning or before you begin to eat or if you're hungry ask your body what is it I tr you truly need today what is it I truly feel like because most choices we make about our food we eat often doesn't come from a purely physiological standpoint oftentimes the food the choices we make are emotional they're filling up a need for us and we choose the food to fill the emotion but when you get in touch with the with the true body, with the mind that the body has, and by asking yourself what it is I truly feel like, what does my body really need right now, you will always, only and ever, eat exactly what you need and exactly the amount. You'll never overeat, you just won't, because you won't feel like it. Now, Christmas time is not a time for going without. That's not, that's not the point. Christmas time is for enjoying things and enjoying the celebration. And it's okay, you know, to have plum pudding or, or you know desserts or cheeses or or you know fabulous food for Christmas dinner that's okay but it's the amount that you eat and for most times when you truly get in touch with what your body needs and wants you never overeat you just won't you'll be able to have one or two or three pieces of a particular piece of dessert and you won't feel like anything more it's when you get into this denial of what the food is. It's when, when you are eating because you're stressed or angry or bored or frustrated or believing that you're going to put on weight that you tend to eat more anyway. I've heard so many people say, what the heck, it's Christmas time, I'm just going to let myself go. You don't have to. You can have a scorched arm. You know, it's not going to kill you. So really get in touch with what it is your body needs and from now on in, ask yourself every day, what is it my body needs? What do I really need? What does my body need to function? And the second question is that, is this an emotional need or a physiological need that I'm satisfying? Your body will always give you the right answer. You just learn to trust it. I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.